Hi, this is Why Generate CloudFormation Templates with Lono. Lono is a tool that generates your CloudFormation templates and helps you more easily manage your CloudFormation stacks. Okay, so let's talk about this tool called Lono and why I actually built it uh, many, many years ago. So uh, it was a Friday night and what was happening was I went out for drinks with one of my, my friends and I was venting to him about a project that I was working on. That project was moving a company's infrastructure over from a third party vendor provider to our own de dedicated AWS account. So as part of this project, I've been working on it and I was uh, able to get half an engineer to help me. So uh, working on it for three months and I had successfully moved over two of our environments, our stacks. And um, th that's good, but I, I was kind of hoping for faster progress. So I was just complaining to him over a couple of beers. And uh, my friend looked at me and he asked me, hey Tong, have you looked into this something called CloudFormation? And I looked back to him and I said, of, of course, but didn't you just listen to anything I've just said? I'm really busy. I, I, I don't have time and I, I'm, I feel like I'm behind with this project. Uh, and so he smirks at me, you know, and kind of continues drinking his beer. And I remember this very uh, vividly because um, it made me pause. And I said, okay, wait a minute. This guy sitting across from me just smirked at me and he's pretty smart. So I'm maybe missing something here. What happened? So that weekend, I went home and read through more of AWS CloudFormation documentation, all a couple hundred pages of it. And, th and then on uh, Monday, I gave him a call and I said, hey, come work for us. Come contract for us and teach me how this CloudFormation thing really works. All right, go help me build the CloudFormation templates. So he joined shortly thereafter. And then after you join on board, about two weeks later, uh, 10 more stacks were moved over. So um, this means, and to put this in context, uh, I have been working for three months with half engineer and have moved over two stacks. He had been there for two weeks and he moved over 10 stacks. So uh, this can mean a couple possibilities. One, I'm really, really bad at what I do. Two, he's really, really smart and really good and great at what he does. Three, CloudFormation is extremely powerful, or um, maybe a combination of all three. Uh, obviously, I, I think CloudFormation is very powerful. Uh, CloudFormation, uh, I'm very happy and excited about it and, and, and glad that AWS has released a, a, such a powerful tool. So um, that was running around really smoothly, or that was working very smoothly. And then um, what had happened was uh, we got to about 10 templates and one day I thought of, okay, we need to do something globally. So I was talking to, again, to, to my colleague and I asked him, okay, we need to make a global change. We need to change user data and user data is a script that you provide to EC2 instance at launch time so that you can customize the instance. It's a, basically a, a hook into the launch script. So, and what my, my request was to write up to a file in the file system the name of the stack. So then we could use what the contents of that file to then make logical decisions in our, our chef recipes, which is a, a very useful thing. It, it's something that uh, well, it's, it's, it's useful. So uh, he, he nodded and then he went off and he did his thing. And then I think it was about three or four days later, he came back and he said, hey, Tom, okay. The templates have been codified. The changes have been made and they've been tested. I'm ready to roll out on production. Let's go. And during those three or four days, I had thought of another change <laughs> that we need to, again, make globally. So I explained it to him and, you know, he was excited when he came to me, but then I saw his response. He kind of shrugged his shoulders. He rolled his eyes. He, he was a little downtrodden because um, he, had to, he had to go test and do everything again. So I, I thought about it. I was like, okay, wait a minute. This, um, this is not maybe going to work. Uh, this is not a way to scale the way we manage our, our CloudFormation templates. So that's when, uh, I think it was that weekend, I started thinking about uh, Lono and started writing. And by that, at that time, it was just a simple generator. It just generated CloudFormation templates. And I hacked something together. And then come came Monday, I, I sat down and kind of reviewed it with him. And I, I asked him, does this kind of help you do what you need to do? And he was like, yeah, that's, that's great. So, so then he started using Lono to generate our CloudFormation templates. And eventually we're able to generate not just 10, but uh, hundreds of templates uh, uh, and using three, uh, three or four core main templates uh, with this tool. So uh, regardless if it's Lono or, or some other tool, 
Uh, I recommend you generate your templates because after a, a couple of templates, it's, it's going to become unmanageable. So, so you, you need some type of tool. Uh, there are not just generators out there. There are also DSLs out there. And this question comes up uh, often. Should I use a template generator or should I use a DSL? I lean on the, uh, the template generator because of the development workflow I've seen uh, guys take when they're developing CloudFormation. So it starts like this. I need to develop a CloudFormation template. The first thing I do, go Google for it. Go find a similar CloudFormation template to do what I need. And then you take that template, you download it, and then you massage it and you edit and modify it so it fits your needs right? and as quick as possible. That's usually the development flow I, I've, I've seen people uh, uh, use when they're using um, or they're working with CloudFormation. And when you have a DSL, you have another layer of abstraction there. So with a DSL, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download that template, then you're going to convert it to the DSL language. And then at that point, you're going to have to, um, you, you know, whenever you need to debug, you're going to have to go back to the templates anyway. So I find when, when you're debugging CloudFormation templates, you usually have to be pretty close to the source anyways. So that's why I, I prefer the template generator. DSLs work fine too if, if that's what, what you like. But there are also DSL tools out there that also automatically uh, will translate that process for you. And I think that's really useful because again, that extra layer of abstraction. But even so, the extra layer of abstraction is another layer to debug. Uh, and, and, uh, so. That's why I wrote uh, Lono, and uh, that's why I wanted to explain. So hopefully you found that, uh, that helpful. If you enjoy this video, uh, please be sure to like it to encourage more content like this. If you have any questions, please comment below, or any video suggestions, please comment below. And if you need any DevOps help, check out Bull Ops and subscribe if you want to watch more video content like this. Later, guys.